Boom. Look at that. Perfectly. Oh yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm heading out to Big Bear, California. Um, Holcomb Valley to be more specific. We're gonna do some camping. I'm trying to get out there a little early because this place is uh, first come first serve. You cannot reserve spots there. So I'm um, heading out early. The wife and kids are gonna meet me up later. All right, let's head out. I'll update you guys along the way. Left on the Van Dusen Canyon Road. There you go. <laughs> Coming up on Van Dusen. One tip, guys and gals, is if you're coming out to a remote area and you don't know if you're gonna have cell coverage, download your maps ahead of time so that way you still have directions. Alright, pavement ends. I'll probably pull off and air down a bit. Made it out to Big Bear, check it out. I'm on Van Dusen Road right now and I'm about to air down. So what I use is the Morflate system. It allows me to air down and air up all four tires at once. So right now, this is what I got. Got everything hooked up. All the way around. And all I have to do is turn this. And let the pressure out. All right, so I'm gonna air down and then I'll catch you guys when we get to the campsite. Hopefully there are some spots. Wish me luck. Hey guys, made it up to Holcomb Valley Campground. It's pretty nice. There's lots of trees around. The spots are a little closer together than I originally thought, but it's not too bad. It's super quiet out here, so I'm trying to talk a little quietly to not bother everybody. But uh, yeah, overall it's not too bad. I think it's pretty nice. The drive in was pretty easy. If you have a um, four-wheel drive, I mean, even if you have a regular SUV, I think it'll be fine. My wife might argue with me on that one, though. <laughs> yeah, and there were a lot of people heading up the mountain, so I was a little worried that uh, me getting here late, I wasn't going to get a spot, but got a spot. I'm going to get unpacked. I'll show you guys some of my favorite camping gear, actually. Oh, actually, there was some really good mud puddles coming up, coming up this way. Nothing too deep, though, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck. So one of my favorite pieces of camping gear is this table. It's an aluminum table. It's got legs that fold up and then the top comes off and rolls up. So it's really compact. This is, it comes in a little bag like this. I'll bust it out and I'll show you guys how to set it up. But it's one of my favorite things. When you pull the table out, just unfold the legs. Like that. You gotta lock them first. You set the table down, straighten out the supports. Now let me get the top. So for the top, you just slip those eyelets onto these black pins. And once you got the table connected to the eyelets, all you have to do is snap these ones down. And you got yourself a table. I forgot to mention that the table also has a little net that you can attach to the bottom so you can like throw stuff to store under your table. So that's one of my favorite things right there.
All right. Ah. The second thing are these RCI, or GCI, GCI rocking chairs. They take up a lot of space in the truck, but man, I like to be comfortable out here and I think it's worth it. And plus, I'm a big guy. I'm usually somewhere between 180 and 200 pounds. So, and I don't really trust those super, super compact, tiny folding chairs. This one, I trust and it's super comfortable. So, I, I sacrificed the truck space for these guys. So because I'm coming out with the whole family this time, I um, wanted to make sure we had enough water and it's been pretty hot. It's been close to 90 degrees. So we brought a bunch of water. Brought two five gallon jugs and what I have is an electronic pump. All you do is stick it onto the top there. You just push a button, clean drinking water comes out. So that's pretty nice. Another cool thing that I bring are these string lights. But they're not just any string lights. These are solar powered string lights. So all you have to do is set them up and then they charge with the sun. And then when the sun goes down, the lights come on automatically. And when the sun comes up, they turn off automatically because they have a light sensor built in. You can also charge these up using um, an external power bank, which not a lot of other solar powered string lights allow you to do. So that's why I really like these. I'll, you know, and everything I talk about, I'll leave links to them down below in, in the description. All right, and of course, we can't talk about camping gear without talking about the tent. So let's go set up the iCamper. All right, camp's all set up. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the setup. The eye camper is really nice. It's gonna be tied up there with a family of four, but um, we'll, we'll see how we do. Actually, it's gonna be five because we have our dog too. It's gonna be really tight up there. But uh, I think it's gonna work. All right, it's almost golden hour, so you know what that means. Time for some pictures. All right, I'm still waiting for the wife and kids to show up. So I thought I'd give you guys a little camp tour while I'm waiting. Got the eye camper, of course. Got the shoe bag and the accessory bag sitting in front of the Lightner rack. Up inside, we just got some blankets. I got one of those O lights, just a single light. Then right here, we have the solar powered um, string lights, got a couple bins, the one on the bottom is the one I showed you earlier, the one that fits perfectly in the Tacoma bed, that's what I call the clean bin, this is what I call the dirty bin, more string lights, here I put up a hammock, these are the chairs we talked about earlier, the fire pit, the water, Got some of these lanterns from Costco. I'm not too happy with those. I don't really like those. Those are probably gonna get returned. And then we got a pretty standard Coleman two, two burner um, propane stove. I see my neighbor put out his Jackery solar panel. I should probably do the same thing. It's one thing I haven't talked about yet. Uh, I haven't talked about power. I have a Jackery, I think it's a 400 watt, but I mostly just use it to charge camera batteries and stuff. I don't have a fridge yet. Uh, if the day comes where I do get a fridge, I'll, uh, I'll get the bigger Jackery. But in anticipation of that, I did get the bigger um, solar panel. So I have a 100 watt Jackery solar panel. That thing works fantastic. I'll probably set it up tomorrow because the 
Sun's already pretty low today. I don't think I'm gonna get much charge using it. Anyway, I charged up the jacker before I left. So it should be fine. That's about it. Nothing special over here. This is a nice campsite. We're sp spread out enough that it's pretty quiet. Even though the neighbor's over there, I can hear him playing music, but it's not too bad. It's not obnoxious. It's gonna be interesting trying to get my dog, one of my dogs, up into the tent. We didn't bring the golden because he's like 90 pounds. That just won't work. <laughs> it's time to start a fire. It's getting a little cool. I love these things. These work pretty well. You just break them up, they light instantly. Sean is off-roading in the Telluride behind me. <laughs> I don't think she's happy about this. <laughs> Nicely. So this is the trail heading out of Holcomb Valley. Uh, I believe we're still on Van Dusen and um, it's a pretty easy trail. I think if uh, any kind of SUV you have, you can do this trail as long as it's not icy or muddy. I think a two wheel drive will be just fine. It's pretty nice. I'll try to pan over and you can see some of the scenery over here. This is a nice, nice drive. It's not too crowded. We've had to uh, let some people pass. That dude was doing it in a CRV. So yeah. Uh, we saw some cars up there. We saw like an Accord or whatever. So, man, it doesn't even have to be rear wheel drive. Front wheel drive, you'll be fine. End of the trail. That wasn't so bad. I'm going to pull to the side because I need to air up my tires. Alright. Time to air up. I'm just going to set you down right there like that.
So this setup allows me to air up all four tires at the same time, which is super nice. Made it back home. Oh, if you haven't gone camping with two young kids, let me warn you, it's not for the faint of heart. I am ready for a nap. Just keep reminding myself, we're making memories. That's the important thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.